Oh, anyway, so this is upcoming tomorrow. Wow. All right. So this becomes a bit of a patch preview for the Heroes of the Storm patch coming on the 24th of August. In that case, let's let's make this proper. Okay, so they're going to change Gaul, Greyman, and Gul'dan. Ariel, Sarge, and Hammer. Cho, Stitches, and Tyrael. Now, I'm just going to take a guess and say that Cho and Gaul will get buffed. Or changed. Greyman, nerf. Gul'dan, buff. Ariel, I think nerf, but I hope not. Stitches. Maybe a buff to his uh, poison gas healing talent. Tyrael, I think it's going to get a nerf. Maybe to Holy Ground or Imposing Will. If I had to guess, I would say Imposing Will no longer slows auto attack and movement speed for 50%, but for 35 Because it seems way too good. Sergeant Hammer is going to get... Let's see. Uh, I think they're going to buff her mind talents at 13 and 16 and give her 8... No, 4 to 8% extra auto attack damage. Let's see. Okay, so let's see how my predictions were. Shove. Buff. I thank you. This game proves why people should not be afraid with two specs in a team. Keep on going, Grubby. Thank you, x -Rail. Uh Yeah, very much so. And I'm also going to give a thanks already to Simeon Flo, who just subscribed. Appreciate it, man. Greetings, so, double friend. trouble, cooldown reduction increase, so you can do more Shadow Flames, isn't it? Pretty cool. Giant Scorcher will now do a little bit more max health, giant killing damage. That's the Q for Gaul. Greymane is going to get a damage nerf on his Worgen Q, on his ult. And a big damage increase on Mark for the kill. Now that's good, because that talent was cool. It was like, it's 40 seconds, but you become human, so your DPS goes down. They become vulnerable for a very long time, which is kind of cool. But then it does 68 damage. Zip. So bad. So this is good. Still won't take it, though. Uh, Wolfheart. Okay, Wolfheart was the number one most popular pick. It allowed you to do 12 auto attacks and then get your W back 12 seconds faster. That's how it worked. Or 4 for 4, right? 1 for 1. It's going to be 1 for 1 1.8. Eh, that's going to be a bit of a nerf. Eyes in the dark, 1 second less stealth. Okay, but I kind of think people take this because there's nothing else good. Not because it is good, but okay. Maybe they should buff... Um, I don't know. I guess thick skin and the mana talent are not too bad. Incendiary Elixir is now going to get more bonus... Well, okay, we're back to Cocktail Build. I played Greymane recently in Quick Match. And I went for Cocktail Build two or three times. And I lost them all. But I lost because I am not the best Greymane in the world. And because, you know, Quick Match. It can be random. I truly do believe that Incendiary Elixir is a good talent. It goes from 10 to 6 sec seconds, your Q. And it does up to 600 damage on the back line. Now it's going to up to 700 damage. It's strong. And now that they buff it more, it's going to be the Q talent again at 4. It's going to be Incendiary Elixir. And 1, either going to be Wolfheart or Viciousness or maybe even back to Perfect Aim. But I think I think it will come back, the Q. Then finally they buff the Unleashed, which is bonus damage per kill. It's the level 20. Okay, I cannot judge that one. But anyway, the developers think that Greymane is doing more burst than they want. From a basic attacker. Okay. I thought that was his uh, modus Greetings, operandi. Friend. Modus operandi. But there you go. I don't mind a Greymane nerf too much. He's pretty popular. Just not sure that they've hit the perfect spot with him yet. Thank you for the uh, subscribing, Barksley, Barkley's Revenge. Thank you very much, man. Welcome to the club. Now, on to a hero that I am more interested in than Greymane. Echoed Corruption, you no longer need to hit 30... Huh? You only needed to hit 30 people. Let me just fact check that real fast. 
It's it's thirty already. You I remember Okay. No change. Seems good. And uh, this is a placebo change, we call it. <laughs> okay, people are guessing that they meant thirty to twenty five. His Echo of Corruption quest ended up being completed earlier than we intended for such a strong effect. So we're increasing... Oh! So they're increasing it from 30 to 35. Which is a nerf. Because it's being completed too early. They call it Echo of Corruption. But here they call it Echoed Corruption. <laughs> I guess they were busy with Gamescom just like me. Anyway, so this is a nerf. Okay. The Slow, which is a 50% slow. After all damage of Corruption is done will move up half a second. But the funny thing is, I just checked the win rates for Greymane. Ah, sorry, for Gul'dan. Uh, where is it? Not this one. Hot Slogs, Gul'dan. This one. I checked the win rates. And at uh, Master's level, in the last 14 days, the best talent at uh, level 7, okay, we have to slightly increase the sample size to diamond as well. The best one is Curse of Exhaustion already, which really surprises me. It doesn't get picked a lot, but it is already the highest win rate. And after that, it's the ability power that reduces healing received. And the very lowest, the one that gets picked the most, is Bound by Shadow. Oh no, it doesn't get picked the most, this will get picked the most. It's already the best, and they, they buff that one. Okay. But that's okay. I like it because this is my favorite already anyway. 13 is going to increase the spell shield after you queue people from 30 to 40. Now it is probably a little bit less reliable than heal stone. Health stone actually both health stone and fell armor have a fairly low win rate at least by the statistics and the highest one has increases death respawn timer and health. And by the way, Reign of Destruction has higher than Horrify, so that kind of tells you all you need to know about Hotslog statistics sometimes. But um, yeah, it's statistics, it should be taken with a grain of salt, but basically a buff to this talent is not a mistake. It's nice, let's see if it helps enough. Now Rampant Hellfire is the one where you do consecutive Qs, which gives you bonus spell damage on your Q. And they're going to increase it from 6 to 30 to 8 to 40. I like that one. This is my favorite also. So there you go. And Darkness Within is the life tap into bonus spell power. Going to 25. Ooh. Gonna be able to do my Hunger for Power ability power with Darkness Within. Reign of Destruction. Lots of very damaging Reign of Destruction collisions. Acceptable win rate, yes. 45. Oh. Wow. Yeah, her auto attack is uh, peanuts. So, buff Ariel. I thought she's going to get nerfed, so let's see what happens. Because she's like super tier 1, in my opinion. A little bit less damage on her Q. Uh, Resurrect is getting buffed. Bit bigger range. Can use it more often. Okay, that's that's legit. Uh, everyone thought that Resurrect is going to be really powerful, but actually Crystal Aegis is much more powerful. Uh, so there you go. Resurrect did need a nerf, it was weak. Uh, uh, sorry, Resurrect did need a buff, it was weak. So that's good. This is okay, it's a bit of a reshuffling, a bit more emphasis on our basic attack, spells a bit less. I just played a Hero League game, Grandmaster level, and I had almost the same damage as all of the Warriors and Damage Dealers in my team. So, she definitely has good damage. This won't change it that much. Increasing clarity gives you less quest stack damage. You need to hit more people to get it. And then a bit more bonus at the end. Total damage is the same. Okay. Uh, doesn't matter too much. Actually, also when you look at Ariel. And you look at the Master Diamond stats. In the last 14 days. Uh, increasing clarity, the quest talent, has the lowest win rate. Uh, probably because people die for trying to complete it. 
And the highest one is Swift Sweep, which I just tried today and I really loved it. First time I tried it because I saw this. My second favorite is Righteous Assault. And it also has good win rate. I don't get why this one is good because I think it's bad. But there you go. So they're gonna... They're gonna kind of... Change the way this works. Doesn't matter too much. Empathic Link is gonna get a 5% nerf. Actually a 20% nerf. It is indeed the top two talents. We can just switch to Energized Court. Especially since this one increases the energy stored from basic attacks. Uh, and... Uh, and and she's getting a big buff to her basic attack. So if you go by the stats, it should get a big swing to energize cord. And then you don't have to worry about putting your bestow hope on the bruiser or warrior anymore. You just put it on your highest damage dealer. Just look at your tab screen. Who has the highest combined hero and siege damage? Preferring hero damage. And you just put it on them if they're near. Then level 7, uh, Glimmer of Hope. Ah, oh, this is a good change. I like the talent. It allows you to keep 35% of your energy after you pick up a globe and you cast the heal. I liked it, but it wasn't impactful enough. So it's good that it's changed to 50%. Energized Cord is getting... Wow! Oh, well, there you go then. It's getting a buff as well. 50% more on PvE. Damage against non-heroes. It's all going to be energized court then. So it makes her even more independent. And she's already so good, even by herself. Alright. Blind is getting reduced. Yeah. I knew that was going to get nerfed. I mean buffed. Yeah, nerfed. Nerfed. <laughs> Words and directions are difficult. But yeah. Four second blind was too good. Even though the win rate of it was top two, together with converging. It was picked far more often. Which means that usually, even though it has a lower win rate, when it gets picked more often, it means even the plebs who don't play her much will try that one. And then they will lose with it because they're new with it. So I would say converging and blinding are roughly equal in win rate. Maybe blinding even better. But converging, obviously, you'll, since you can push people, you can cancel Mosh Pit with it. So it has... Converging needs to exist, although of course you can use your E as well, but it's another one. So that one gets ner nerfed a bit, that's fine, it was way too good. Diamond Resolve will increase the resistance, so after someone comes out of Crystal Ages, you will have a damage reduction of 50% for 4 seconds, now it will be 5. The win rate is comparable to the other two, I think Shield of Hope is the best, but for some reason this one performs also. I guess it's because when someone comes out of the Crystal Aegis, they are a sitting duck. So it kind of makes sense that it's a good talent, because you're saving someone at, let's say, 20% life. People walk away from the explosion, then they want to aim their skill shot and, and kill. So it kind of makes sense, and it's getting a one second buff, that's pretty good. Yes, I'm happy to see fresh blood too. Alright, Sergeant Hammer. Yes! I saw this suggestion on Reddit. They must have read it. Okay. No longer need to get the level 7 talent that gives the thrusters. Always active. Good. Uh, gives a little bit more map uh, sustain. But actually it's a 4 second 70% movement speed buff. Which basically means 4 times 7 is 2.8. It means you arrive 2.8 seconds faster at your destination. That's a kind of nice buff. It's 3 seconds. That's pretty good. It's not going to change the game per se. Artillery will now also embed the Maelstrom shells. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh! That's her trait! She's always going to get 20% bonus, uh, bonus attack speed. What am I saying? Why, why do I say attack range is speed? Anyway, I'm so excited here that everything is going out of whack. She's always going to get bonus range from level 1 without picking anything. Great. No more lethal blast, which is good. It was the one that gives you 50% bonus damage on your W, which did like 2.5 damage, supposedly. So it was really weak. 
you ne definitely never ever gonna take that. This one is removed. It's now been embedded. And hypercooling engines, cooldown reduction. So it goes from 30 to 15 instead of from 30 to 20. That's great. Ah, oh, no double active from the altar. Okay. So a bit more map movement. Removed a trap talent. Embedded the range, which is a must take, which means now you can take something else. Come on. That is pretty cool. Wow. You search for Hot Slog's hammer and you find me second spot. That is amazing. <laughs> lol. Mega lol. Uh, so, um, what can she take now? She can either take focused attack because she doesn't need to take Maelstrom or excessive force, double knockback distance or lifesteal. She basically gets to take two level force. That is... Uh, that is really nice. I'm gonna play some Sergeant Hammer soon. Moving on. Cho. Bit more bit more run run. Runic feedback. Bit more cooldown reduction if you hit your runic blast. Pretty cool. Gorge is gonna get a buff. Both mana and duration. Wow wow wow. Wow 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 wow. Anterior. Eldruin's might nerf one second. Judgment buff ten seconds. Sank to nerf 10 seconds. Good changes so far. Tyrael is super tier S. Largely revolve around his uh, Sanct and Holy Ground. So that has been nerfed a bit. Herodric Reforging. Will now give you more debuff. So one second better than the original with the talent. That's a pretty big buff. Reciprocate will do less damage. Angel's Grace will give even more move speed. No more searing attacks. Good, that was silly. Follow through has been added. Okay, that's good because this gives mana issues and makes a bit more sense, okay. Imposing will fix the bug that was causing move speed slow to inconsistently stack. Oh, and it didn't get nerfed. I'm really surprised about that as I predicted at the beginning of this r preview. Angelic healing now gets buffed. That's funny because, uh, who was it? I think it was Kendrick, he told me about this cool build. Full W, Angelic Absorption, Bonus Shields at 16, The Salvation. And both are getting buffed, these two. And you get the longer lasting shields and something else. And he said you are unkillable if they attack you during it. So strong. So you can be like a super tank with this. But most of his problematic talents, like Imposing Will, Holy Ground and Sanct, for the most part they're not touched too much. So I think Tyrael will still be tier 1 at competitive. And then some bug fixes. Ah. I rate this patch for Sergeant Hammer. I buff it. For Cho and Gaul, buff. It's, I rate it positively. Gorge. Bit toxic, Gorge. Very cheesy. But uh, I rate it okay. Tyrael nerfs, not enough. Um, Ariel... Basically got buffed, even though she's already very good. This I don't really understand, but she got buffed. So she's going to be like 60% win rate, I think. Gul'dan probably didn't get buffed enough. But he'll be he'll probably move from 45 to 47% win rate. Greyman got some nerfs, it's fine. Give another assassin a chance. So I rate this patch 8.7 out of 10. Official scientific score. Thank you guys for watching my preview. Zarya. Is this the best healing you can do? Vital signs. I wish I had a lighter. <laughs> Cool. Cool, cool, cool.